Kiwi Nina Mori and I'm going to give you a brief update of what I've been up to lately. I haven't posted a video since uh, end of April. I've been really busy so actually I got a new job and I had to move so that I could also do that job and so I had to uproot everything <laughs> real quick after all of my conventions that I had. Um, so I had to put a hold on sewing crafts for a little while so that I could get set up. Um, also learning the new job takes some time and I haven't had a chance to really jump back into my crafts, but I'm, I'm slowly unpacking and getting everything established. So I have my layout here for now and I'm really excited that I have a separate room to sew in. So I actually have a craft room. It's been my dream forever. Um, I will show that off like in a separate video when I actually finish unpacking everything. <laughs> but for now, I will do um, all my crafts in the space that I have and uh, show videos of that so that you have some new things to look forward to because I'm also really eager to get some projects done um, before the summer is through and while the weather is nice and I can take pictures outside. <laughs> um, I also wanted to show off some other updates that haven't uh, that I haven't posted on YouTube about. I think I only put one up on Instagram. Um, I've been too busy to post on there, but I'm going to start posting again. So this guy, if you remember, I had a new mature mini. So this is my Vernonom Draco uh, Yanto, and he just got back from face up. <laughs> He's gorgeous. So he got his face up by Pico-chan. They do YouTube videos online. Um, so I'll put a link in the description. You can check out their work, but honestly, he looks so great. I'm super excited that he has a face up so I can actually make him clothes now. <laughs> um, and part, start putting things in my shop too for um, MSDs. So that that's exciting. I also have a arrival here that I was going to open. Um, I ordered the Meek Stall Feral uh, Full Doll and Emerson Head. Um, so the Feral Full Doll came in early and then Emerson was waiting to get done. But so this is finally the head that's come in. So I'm, I'm excited to finally have the head in so I don't have any dolls looming in the post office waiting to be, to arrive to me. <laughs> it's nice to be caught up and not expecting anything for a little bit because I want to actually work on what I have. Um, but there are some um, releases I'm looking forward to hopefully soon so I can add them to my collection. So let's see this head. <laughs> uh -oh. Nicely packaged. Tell you, this head must be huge because this box is huge. <laughs> if he's anything like the, if the feral head, then yes, he's definitely going to be a big boy. <laughs> I always love meat stall packaging. It's just, it's definitely an aesthetic that I appreciate. <laughs> so that's the Meek Stall box. Let's see. And then I have his COA. So that's the Emerson postcard. <laughs> It's gonna go on my wall with all my other art that I'm hoarding from my doll box of things and friends who send me artwork. Um, so yeah, it's a COA and a wax seal, which is so fancy. <laughs> so happy. It's like, ah, I can do so many things. I have all these boys now. <laughs> I'm trying to decipher what character he's going to be from my story. Um, Cause I also have a feral head. And I'm just weighing which, who's going to be which role. But yes, he's such a huge head. <laughs> there you go. Look at him, he's gorgeous. I love his lips. <laughs> 
It's got such a nice head shape. So I'm going to have to send him away for face up after he just got here. <laughs> That's the joys of having blank dolls. It's just constantly sending them away. Um, but I love him and I look forward to coming up with his character. I have plenty of open slots from my books of people that my dolls can fill out. Um, save me some effort of having to start with a whole new character um, because I, I like having something to go off of. Um, but I will put more videos up soon. I have a sewing project in the works that I'm doing recordings for, so I'll put that video up because I know some people like to see the in progress of the sewing that's happening for my characters. So I will show that to you hopefully later this month or at the very early beginning of July. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye. Thank you.